For instance, what if you have uh, six uh, over here and somebody has six jelly beans and then somebody else has six jelly beans. We would say that those are equal to each other, right? Because they're exactly the same amount. One person has the exact same amount as the other person, six jelly beans or six you know, rocks or whatever. So we know that, that that's what we call the equal sign. But what if somebody has you know, three rocks and then somebody else over here has four rocks? This is not equal, right? I cannot put an equal sign there. So which one is bigger, right? We know the four is bigger than the three. So how do we show that the four is bigger than the three? Or also another way of saying it, that the three is less than a four. What we do is we put a less than sign in there. We put a little arrow, kind of like a little, a little mouth. You can think of it as a mouth kind of eating something over here like this, but it's a little arrow and the arrow always points to the smaller number. That's what you need to remember. So this is uh, saying that three is less than four because the arrow is always pointing to the smaller number and the big side always points or kind of opens up to the bigger number. The way we read this, when the arrow is pointed this way, we call it less than. So we say three is less than four. That's exactly what you would think. Three rocks is less than four rocks. But the most important thing, more important than the words, is that the arrow always points to the smaller number and the big side always opens up to the larger number. Now what if we have a different situation where someone over here has 10 rocks and somebody over here has two rocks? Which way would the arrow point? the arrow always points to the smaller number. So over here, the arrow always points to the smaller number like this. It's pointing to the two because that's obviously smaller than 10. The big side is opened up next to the bigger number. The big side over here is opened up next to the bigger number. Now, when the arrow goes to the right like this, we call it greater than. Whoops. So the way we read this, is 10 is greater than two. Three is less than four. So these arrows like this is how we uh, represent what side is bigger. If they're exactly the same, we just put an equal sign in the middle. But if one side's bigger than the other, then we have to put this little, uh, it's called an inequality. It's, it's, it's an arrow that points to the smaller number and it opens up with the big side next to the bigger number. Now what we want to do is exactly the same thing with fractions. I want to give you two fractions and let's point to which one uh, it, it, it's always going to point to which one ever of those fractions is smaller. Same as the numbers over here. So let's go to our first little example here. Here we have two fractions. This one is one half and this one is five eighths. First of all, how do we know? It's one out of two pieces. So it's two pieces total and we only have one shaded. And this one is one, two, three, four, five out of six, seven, eight pieces. So this is five out of eight pieces and that's one out of two pieces. So it's very hard to just look at these numbers and figure out by the numbers. Because see, this pizza is cut into two pieces and this people is, pizza is cut into eight pieces. So it's hard to just compare them directly without drawing a picture because it's hard to visualize when, when everything's cut to a different amount of slices exactly which has more or has less. But we can see that this amount of pizza is definitely gonna be less than the amount of pizza over here. So I would actually much rather have five eighths of a pizza, five out of eight pieces, than to have one out of two pieces. So this arrow has to always point to the smaller number as it always does. And the smaller number is this direction. So the arrow points like this. So we say that one half is less than five eighths exactly the same way that we said three was less than four. This arrow, when it points this way, means less than. When it points this way, it means greater than, but it always points to the smaller number, no matter what. Uh, in this case, the smaller number uh, just happens to be the fraction one half, and the bigger number happens to be five eighths. So let's go into another one and see if we can figure out what happens right here. So here we have two fractions. The first one is three fourths. How do we know? Because it's three pieces out of a total of four. How do we know this is six eighths? Well, it's one, two, three, four, five, six pieces out of seven, eight. So six pieces out of eight, three pieces out of four. What would you rather have? Would you rather have three fourths of a pizza or would you rather have six eighths of a pizza? Well, if you actually look at it, this amount of pizza is exactly the same amount as this amount of pizza. Think about it. If I could flip this over and line it up, then the white area would be exactly the same amount in both cases. So actually, these guys are equal to each other, 
right? These two fractions, 3 fourths and 6 eighths, are exactly equal to each other. Not just a little bit kind of equal, not, not close, they're exactly the same thing. And that's what we're going to find out as we work more and more with fractions, is that you can have fractions that look completely different. Most students would probably guess this is a bigger number, because the 6 is bigger and the 8 is bigger. So most people would probably think it's bigger. But the problem with that is that this one's cut into eight pieces and this one's cut into four pieces. So it's really hard to compare them without drawing a picture. But when we draw a picture, three out of four pieces is exactly the same amount as six out of eight pieces. So that's why we put an equal sign there. All right, now let's take a look at the next one. Here we have, instead of pizzas, we have, you know, cakes or something, some rectangle. Here is one fourth, one out of four, so one, two, three, four, that's one piece out of four. And this is one out of five, one, two, three, four, five, one out of five. Which one is bigger, one fourth or one fifth? Well, it might be a little hard to see because they're pretty close, but if you hold something up and kind of look at how much this actually is and compare it to this, you can see that this shaded area, my finger, I put my finger on roughly on where the shaded area ends. And if I compare it here, you can see that this shaded area is actually less. So this amount of cake, if I were to care about cakes, is actually the smaller side. So the arrow always points to the smaller number like that. So one fourth is actually bigger than, because the open side goes to the bigger side, than one fifth. So another way we say that is, we say that 10 was greater than two, and the way we say it here is exactly the same thing. We say that one-fourth is greater than one-fifth. So we have learned here that sometimes fractions, one fraction can be less than another one, one fraction can be larger than another one, and also, most importantly, fractions can actually be exactly equal even though they don't appear to be equal in the beginning. So I'm going to take these down. We're going to do a bunch more examples and give you more practice with comparing fractions. Okay, for our next problem, fraction number one is two-thirds. Why? Because it's two out of three pieces total. The next fraction over here is four-tenths. One, two, three, four pieces out of five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four out of ten pieces. Which one is bigger? If you look at the shaded region here, it's way bigger than the shaded region here. So the smaller shaded region is this, and the arrow always points to the smaller number. So we say that two-thirds is greater than four-tenths. And that's what it is. It is greater than. It's a larger amount of, of stuff, whatever it is we're talking about. All right. Here's our next example. What if we're comparing five-sixths and we're comparing it to five-eighths? What is the, uh, you know, which one of these is bigger? Well, let's take a look. We have one, two, three, four, five pieces out of six. And here we have one, two, three, four, five pieces out of six, seven, eight. So here we have five, six, the fraction five, six, compared with the fraction five, eight. It's almost impossible to look at these fractions, even for me, and I've been working with fractions a lot, and to just know which one's bigger, I cannot do it. I have to draw a picture or do some other things that I'll teach you a little bit later on how to kind of like work with fractions to tell which one is bigger. But for now, drawing pictures is the easiest way to see that this fraction is way bigger than this one here. So this fraction is the larger one, that means the arrow must point to the smaller fraction. So then we then say that 5 6, the fraction 5 6, is bigger than or greater than the fraction 5 8. All right? Now, what about something like this, going back to circles? So we have the fraction 2 fifths here. Why? Because it's two pieces out of 3, 4, 5. So two pieces out of 5, two out of 5 pieces. And here we have the fraction 4 6. 1, 2, 3, 4 pieces out of 5 6. So four pieces out of 6. I cannot tell by looking at these which one is bigger. I really can't. I'm not even just making that up. I cannot figure it out by just looking at this. But when you look at a drawing, you can see that this one is way less. Just would you rather have this much or would you rather have all of this? So clearly this is the smaller fraction. It points to the smaller number. And in this case, we say that the fraction 2 fifths is less than the fraction 4 sixths. 2 fifths is less than 4 sixths. All right. Let's take a look at the next one, going back to kind of rectangles here. Here we have uh, three tenths, or three out of ten. One, two, three out of four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So three out of ten. Here we have one half, one out of two pieces. Which one's bigger? Well, you may have to kind of like use your fingers or something and kind of like just compare them, but you can see immediately that this amount of shaded region is actually smaller. So the arrow points to the smaller number. 
So the fraction 3 tenths is less than the fraction 1 half. So when you're comparing same size objects like we're doing here, we compared the fractions by cutting them up and looking to see actually what is the smaller amount. So here we have 3 tenths less than 1 half. Here we have 5 6 greater than 5 eighths, and so on. And you can't figure this out just by looking at the numbers, you have to draw pictures. All right, so our next problem says we have the fraction 1 half, 1 out of 2 pieces, compared to the fraction 5 tenths. 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out of 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 5 out of 10 or 1 out of 2, which one is bigger? Well, actually, when you look at the shaded amount here, it's exactly the same amount as the shaded amount here. So even though 1 half looks completely different than 5 tenths, they actually represent exactly the same amount of food or whatever it is you're dividing up. So that's the thing with fractions. A lot of times they can look different, but they actually mean the same thing. Think about it. Five out of 10 pieces of something should be exactly the same as one out of two pieces, because in both cases, you're still getting half the pizza, which is what you have here. All right. Uh, so let's go over here and say, what about our next problem? We have 7 eighths, and we're going to compare that to 5 sixths. How do we know? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 out of 8 pieces, and we're comparing that to 5 out of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out of 6. Which one's bigger? Maybe a little hard for you to tell, but if you kind of compare this here, you can see that this one here is actually more. The blue area is bigger here than the blue area here. That means this one is smaller, and so that means that the arrow goes this direction. So we're saying 7 eighths is a greater fraction or larger than 5 6. Another way we'd write this without the drawings here, we would say 7 eighths is greater than 5 6. And over here, we would be able to say something like 1 half is exactly the same as 5 tenths. Exactly the same fractions, totally equal. But 7 eighths is a bigger number than 5 6. It's a bigger fraction because of the drawing that we have up here. Now let's take a look at our last problem. What we're comparing here is some small fractions. One out of six pieces. Here's one out of one, two, three, four, five, six. One out of six. This is one out of three pieces. There's three pieces and you only have one of them. How much pizza would you rather have? I'd rather have this amount because it is a larger amount than this. So the arrow goes like this. So we say that one sixth is a smaller, or we also say it's less than one third. And the way we would write it down without pictures is we would say one sixth is less than one third. Now, if I just asked you, hey, here's one sixth and one third, which one is bigger? It's very confusing because this number looks to be bigger than the three. So you would think this is the bigger thing, but it's, it's really not. It's actually a smaller amount of pizza. Same thing over here. This number looks, because 10 is bigger than two, it looks like it's going to be bigger, but actually it's the same exact fraction. So you cannot easily look at fractions and determine if one's bigger than the other just by looking at the numbers. Right here at this stage, we need to be drawing pictures. So that's what we're doing here. I'd like you to do all of these yourself again. Grab a sheet of paper, draw them. And then when you understand and you feel like you're getting the right answers, follow me on to the next lesson and we'll get more practice with comparing fractions. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.